that we feel shame when we cry. We feel it is weak. We feel like something is wrong. When a lot of times, something is right. Hey folks, we live in a time, as you know, of extremes. We live in a time when it's normal to hold in things, when it's commonplace for human beings to explode like volcanoes. I wanna share this story with you that has led me down a path. I was rummaging through some old sheet music in my closet today, and it came upon these lyrics, which were very moving to me. This is the chorus to the song, Colder Months by Alpha Rev and Casey McPherson. These thoughts of pain don't make a sound. They keep us hidden in the lost and found. And these colder months, wincing social graces, we keep with us these fallen faces. Our culture teaches us that it is weak to express our feelings. We feel shame when we cry. We feel it is weak. We feel like something is wrong. When a lot of times something is right when we need to cry, when we need to express, but we hold it back when we're in public, when we're around people. We hold back that spontaneous moment when we need that release, when we need that energy to be discharged from our bodies. So what do we teach our children? By example, what do we tell them to do? Look at children. Do children do this? Are children born pushing down? No, children are born expressing and discharging that energy. I see very often my eight-year-old will blow up about something and express that energy in a very physical, powerful way. And then within minutes, she'll go back to playing and she'll be back peaceful. Just as when you see an impala in the wild is chased down by a predator, and, and then if the impala escapes, the impala goes through a process of discharging that survival energy, shakes, shakes it off, scans the horizon to make sure it's safe, and then becomes back into homeostasis and is grazing in peace. So the question is, how can we be healthier animals? How can we honor our animal nature um, as a part of the society that we've built? Um, so it makes me think of interesting futuristic possibilities. Could we have a future where we have a place of release? We walk in into these places around the urban areas where we have a crying room and somebody's there to witness our crying because we know that animals do not travel alone. They travel in partnership with other animals and tribes. They all support each other. They go through these things. So we're animals. We have that wild animal essence. We need the support of a friend. What would that look like to have a future where it's normal for people to safely and healthily discharge their emotions. Because when they get on the other side of that, they feel a sense of completion, a sense of, a sense of discharge, a sense of coming back to homeostasis. Find a healthy way to express and discharge your emotional energy. I guarantee you, you will be a happier person.